Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for stopping by for today's book! Today's book is Pippa's Tale! And it's written by Conrad Husbuck! Yo-Yo! Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book! When I was born, I had a baby brother! We were twins! We were cute and wild little puppies! All day we ran, played, and jumped on each other! Just having fun and making a mess! When we settled down, we slept hard! One day, a sweet little boy named Hudson came in with his mommy and daddy and adopted my little brother. They took him home with them. I was sad, but I knew he would have a good, happy home. They were a nice family. The next day, a wonderful little girl named Bella came in with her mother and her Nana. Her mother's name was Nellie. I'll never forget the way Bella screamed and cried when she saw me. Mommy, I love her and I will always take good care of her. I promise I always will, please. So away I went to my new home. I was very excited. My new family stopped at the mall to shop for me. Bella said, Mommy, I'm going to name her Pippa. What a great name, Nana said. They picked out so many toys for me, along with a beautiful leash, a bed, a blanket, and bowls. I was so happy when we got home. Mommy and Nana took such good care of me. They set up my bed and bowls. Then Nana and Bella took me for a long walk to the park and through the neighborhood just to show me off. Nana took us to the supermarket and put me in the shopping cart. I loved the ride. It was such fun. On sunny days, we all went to the beach. We brought Fifa, my cousin, a golden retriever who would always watch and protect me. I loved the beach. People saw me and said, what a beautiful sweet puppy. I loved the sand and the waves. I had fun with the little children in the sand. At Christmas, Santa brought me gifts, toys, and the cutest outfit with a Santa hat. Bella dressed me up in my new Christmas outfit with my new hat and jacket and said, We're going for a walk. Nana said, I would love to come along with you. We must be very careful and watch out for automobiles. Right, I said, let's go. Everyone we saw stopped to pet me and say hello. And Merry Christmas! One day, while I was playing, I ran into a wall and then into a table. Nana said, I believe there might be something wrong with Pippa. So off to the veterinarian, we went for a checkup. 
the doctor will know what is wrong, Nana said. She was right. The doctor said that I could possibly be going blind, which is common for the breed of dog that I was. My family was so upset. But that's okay, said Nana. We will love Pippa even more now. My family was so kind and caring with me. Bella was afraid to put me down. She just wanted to protect me and keep me from getting hurt. Bella walked around holding me saying, Mommy, I love Pippa so much. I don't care if she is blind and can't see me. She knows it is me holding and caring for her. When I put her down, she follows me everywhere. She just knows. Pippa is my best friend. She sleeps with me every night. And I talk to her all the time. <coughs> Nana said, All things and animals, big and small, are like family. They are God's creatures. It doesn't matter what their differences are. It is our responsibility to take care of them and love them with all our hearts. Oh, Nana, I just love Pippa so much, answered Bella. Then one day, Bella and her mom were called to California on business. They had to leave me with Nana. Bella said, we cannot take you, but we'll be back very soon. We were so upset. It was hard for Bella to leave me. shopping, she stopped at a puppy adoption center just to look. She said, you know how much I love you and all animals. Well, we brought home another puppy, a new playmate and friend for me. The new puppy only had three legs. She was born that way and we named her Tripos. I loved her. She could run faster than me and was so cute. Thank you, God for all creatures, big and small. We were all so happy together. My Nana, Tripaws, and me. We just couldn't wait for Bella and Mommy to return. Hope you enjoyed my tale. Watch for the next chapter with all my new friends. Love, Pippa. The end. So what did you think about today's book? I thought it was a wonderful book. And I'm so glad that Pippa found such a wonderful home. And even though Pippa was going blind and having trouble, it was okay. Pippa was loved just as much by her family, maybe more. And it was also wonderful how they adopted another dog. And even though he had three legs, they had loved him just as much. We should all love all animals, no matter what is different about them. I hope you enjoyed today's book. I want to say a great big thank you to Conrad Hosbuck. Yo-Yo for this wonderful book.